journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, sounding bad, Billy Ray, but I'm doing okay. This is the Euro, folks. I want to tell you a story about this Euro. Last night around 6 o'clock, Tucson time, uh, what time was that? Uh, 8 o'clock New York time, I got a call from my good friend Byron Tucker and told me, he said, that the Euro just broke 104. I said, Byron, I said, that's impossible. That was at 6 o'clock at night, my time. So I looked, the euro, and I got active data from Forex, folks. It's it's very good. I looked, and it's trading at 105.20, 105.30. And I called him back, and I said, Byron, I said, that's not right. It's trading at 105. It's not broken 104. I said, that's 100 pips lower. He said, Larry, it's trading below 104. And I said, Byron, it's not showing that on foreign exchange. So my first thing was I called City Desk in New York City Bank. And I know the people that run that desk, students of mine from many years ago. I asked him, where's the euro trading? 105, 110. I said, have you seen any trades below 104? The guy laughed at me. He said, that's 100 pips away. You think I wouldn't be able to see something like that? And I said, yeah, I just wanted to know. Okay, folks, five hours later, in the middle of the night, Guess what? Euro went below 104. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show this is the most actively traded thing in the world. If This is the, the ideal thing to look at. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over here to the weekly chart. Okay, now here's the weekly chart. Now, what I've done now, I'm going to pull the weekly so you go back and see how far back it goes. Okay, now we've completed an A, B, C, D pattern right there, folks. That's what I just did. On the daily, I'm going to do it on the weekly so you can see it again right here. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg right here. And there's your CD leg right here. Going below that, you see where it is? Folks, when it was right here, five weeks ago, right, right before the election, I was talking to a UBS, United Bank of Switzerland, a Forex trader, and he was long the euro. And I said, it's going to trade below 104 here right after the election before Thanksgiving. He said, you're crazy. He said, that'll never happen. He said, there's too much demand here. And I said, well, if it does, do I get a bonus? I mean, he hadn't paid me anything anyway. He says, I will definitely come and study with you in Tucson if it does that. So last night, we hit 104, excuse me, 103. 40. Of course, it stayed there for a heartbeat. Now, let me get up here and bring up the short-term chart so we can see what happened. There was the break last night. You see, it went from 105. It's 150 pips, folks. Excuse me, 170 pips, which is $1,700. After that, now this is when we start following. You see, that's 4 in the morning, New York, 2, two in the morning, my time. The market came up. Pulled right back to the 382 retracement, okay, and then completed an ABCD. This is one of the trades that we did for the live trading day. We bought the euro right there. And now it's, as you can see, it's moved uh, substantially in our favor. Now, when you see a big move like this, and then it takes how many hours to do that? Took 10 hours to make a 382 retracement? Shut the front door and raise the rent. There's nothing bearish about that. Now, the thing is, maybe this is a bottom and maybe it isn't. It's too early to tell, but we've ran, we've gone up 110 pips off the bottom, folks. That's a really big deal. Going back, looking at this daily again, what you're going to do is you're going to see it right here. Now, watch. I want to show you something. We've seen this before, okay? Just want to get this over here to show you what we've done before. All right? Move this around from that level here. Now, this is what we've done here over the past year and a half. You see this swing right here. It's gone below because it was not meant to do so. But look at this swing right here. This is the exact same swing. See that? Look at that. It's exactly the same. Now, you think these markets aren't harmonic? And the fact that we took this out right here? Now, 
about, oh my goodness, it must have been about eight, nine weeks ago, something like that, maybe less. But let's go look at the Big Daddy Rabbit, which is the, well, Big Daddy Rabbit is zero, but we're going to look at the dollar index to show you the exact same pattern. I'm going to get this up here. Now we're going to go to the weekly chart because at this point, when we were buying the dollar index, nobody wanted it. And here's where we were. There's where we were. You can see, what was that, 12 weeks ago? You see the ABCD pattern right here? That was equivalent to that euro making the high up there at 112. And look what's happened. We had this big run up here. Now, what we're doing now is we're getting very, very close. I'm going to take this out just like this right here. And then we're going to look at the high back here. No fundamentals, folks. This is just a little bit of Fibonacci. And there's your number right here. We'll come very close to the 61% retracement here on this after this many weeks. I think it's 14. Uh, maybe not. Let's, let's just measure it just for kicks and giggles here on the show. We just take the low right here to the high, and it is, wow, it's even less than I thought. It is uh, 10 weeks, 10 weeks straight up. And that's a, without very little correction, a little tiny correction here at all. Now, that means when we have the pullback, it should be pretty good. But this has trapped some people now, and we could easily see the market reverse, maybe for a short period of time. But there what it was today. Look, there's your 1.27, and now you're now the lower part of the range. If we fill this gap here, fill the, this gap five days ago, one more run. So this is really important here, watching this euro perform the way that it is. That is my opinion, of course, and I'm sticking to it. But it worked pretty good today uh, on the trade that we did, and that was the main thing that uh, what the main thing is important. My advice to them was if we get up into this area right here, that's what we want to be watching to see if it's going to do that because then you've trapped a lot of peace. Oil. You get above here, you trapped all these guys that got blown out and went short at those levels, and that, that's all we're watching here as we watch these charts here this morning. Now, another one that we're watching that we've been looking at for quite some time from the short side has been the uh, hogs. We're going to get the December hogs up here in just a second because they're getting ready to probably bottom sometime in the next century. But this is a weekly. Let's move up here. I think it's already bottomed. By golly, look at this. Here's where we are on the daily. If it comes up or not, oh, this is the March contract. Let me see if I can get this up here. Yeah, there it is right here. You can see the March. Now, the March means it's switching over, so there's not really a gap like this in the December. Let me get the December up here so that we can talk uh, Spanish to Spanish and not Polish to English. There's the uh, December. Oh, my goodness. Look at this today. This is a weekly, I'm sure. Yeah, hold on. Get rid of this and uh, get the daily up. There's where we are. We came right back up, and we're bouncing against the 382. But we're expecting the market to have a pretty good rally from here. So well, how do we figure that out? We look what happened over the last three trading days. So we go down to the last three trading days, and we look for, guess what, boys and girls? Something that would tell us that maybe this market is bottoming, and it happened yesterday. See the 21st? You see that big move up? All right, what happened then was the market gave you one more chance, a saving grace to where uh, went a little below the 382, almost to the 50%, and away it goes. So that's what we're looking at, folks. Now we're going to take a break here. 20 minutes, 25 minutes from now, we're going to have Stan Harley. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. I sent a video out in the middle of the night right here. Well, it was about uh, 1 in the morning my time. We had a big high, and then we had this beautiful 382 pattern here. By the time the, the radio show started, or my live trading started, it was down here. But the people that were in the room looked at that, and several of them actually did that trade. That was a monster move. $2,500, folks, and the margin on it is only 28 A big move, so it worked out all right. We had a little bit of a bounce here. Well, from 24 that's a $1,000 bounce. So you can imagine, you know, what happened. The last little rally high that we had back here, which was very minor, might have been a 382. No, it, it missed that by... Uh, Missed it by quite a bit, uh, about two points here. So this was what we were watching. We've lined that up pretty good. But I want to spend some time here focusing on the one trade that really looked the very best. Now let me give it up here and take a look at you. <coughs> this is soybean oil. Now what I'm going to do now is put the daily up because we did one of these on the 8th of of. Uh, November, there's where we were on, on the 8th of November. Let's get rid of this right here so we can see what we're watching. From the 8th of November is where we had this pattern right here. It was an ABCD pattern that completed. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right there. Completed up here to this level. We were looking at shorts, and we also had another uh, ABCD <coughs> D pattern that was right here and that went even higher up there at 48 the high was 4909 this was our number 4860 and I said when they closed that day this is the day of the of the thirty. it closed right there uh, and so it's closed in a profit I said stop is here I said look for at least a three to five day correction that made well over four points but look what happened today folks this is why it was such a beautiful setup I'll go over it because some people don't 
really know, but I'll show you. But anyway, there's the pattern that we're looking at. As you can see, we have a left shoulder and we have a right shoulder. You see where the right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder? That makes this a head and shoulders pattern. The second thing you do is you check the harmony between the two from your left shoulder to the top was four days. Down was four days on the downside. And what was it doing as far as price? As we look at this, well, sometimes it disappears and sometimes it doesn't. So let's get up here and we're going to take a look at that again with God willing and she usually is. Get this up here, the soybean oil on the daily. Here's where we are. Get rid of that. That's not the daily, Larry. Get That's how much it's moved off the bottom. And we'll get back here to see the daily. And there's where we were looking at it, okay? So now, since that happened, we'll get rid of that. And this is where we were trying to buy it, right down here. Now you have an A, B, C, D to the downside. So you'd like that market right here from the high down to your low, right up to guess where? 382, just a tiny bit above it. And there was our number 4158. The low of the day was 4151. Folks, my order was for 4150. Why I shaded that by eight ticks, I don't know. And it has has had a really good rally of $700 off the bottom, but without me. Anyway, you'll see here, there's where the Lord and it just started to go higher. We'll get a chance to buy it again, but that's what we were we were joking about it, but didn't quite work uh, the way that uh, the way, excuse me, the way that we had hoped that it would work. But you know, hope is a word that we don't use in trading too much. Okay, now we've got a question here about the gold because gold had something big happen to us today. Not us, because we were expecting to see the market go higher. Let's look at this on the long-term four-hour. You know, we came down. We made this low. There's your – remember, this was the big double uh, 1.618 expansion up there at 2801. We went through that a dozen times. It stayed there for three full days. Then we had the first move down, A, B, C, D. And then we had the second move down, which is this one, A, B, C, D. What we're going to do is take this out and redraw it just to show you what we're looking at. Remember, these are not – perfect patterns folks the only thing perfect is death and taxes and try to pick one not the other there's the ab there's your 382 right here okay that measured to 2561 the low was 2541 it missed it by ten dollars but after it missed it had a little pullback and then we've been running up ever since i mean since the 14th here we are seven days into a run and where have we gone from your high right back here, we went above the 618 by quite a bit, 20, uh, excuse me, at 04. Now we're trading at 11, so it's making new highs, still going higher. And if you look at this section right here, we're going to go down to an eight minute, just so you're able to see it. Hold on just a second. Get this out of the way here. Move it right there. And there's, there's your ABCD pattern right here. What we're going to do now is we're going to measure it from a different area just to see where we come from. There's the ABCD. you got to go to your low that we had way back here. In October, October 22nd, we were trading at 2630. From 2630, you go up to 1801. Uh, that's not what I wanted there. Let's put this in right here. 26 even. And then the pullback. There's your 382 comes in right here at 2689. Remember the ABCD measures to 2660. So it went a little bit lower, but there's your 382 right in here. And then you can see what's happening right here. We make a 135. We went startly going above it. Now we just made new highs on the day for a weekend. Now high so far today has been as high as 2713. The old high that we had back here, this is a recovery high. This is 618 of the whole Gamilla, folks. Let's get that 4 hour back again so you'll be able to see it without too much trouble. There it is. You see the 3. Let's just clean it out so we can see it real easy. And there's the high that we had back. It was a parabolic move, folks, in the last uh, – since the 14th. Stops very quietly here at this level, which is 382. Backs off about 40 bucks, and then away it goes. Now, the way you want to watch that – is that you've got a workable A, B, C, D pattern here because there's your thing right here. Then you, uh, there's the two teachers, 18th and 19th. 
means we should come into some strong resistance up here at 2725. That's right off of the old uh, computer module and the uh, uh, trying to think of that airline. I'll think of it in a second. But anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, today. Big move today and uh, completing this smaller ABC. That's not even a 382. You can see it's only a 19% correction, which is, you know, since the 14th, just a week ago, the, the gold has gone to, excuse me, $190 a barrel. That's what that is here from that low to that high. That brings a lot of people that are kicking the tires and uh, thinking of moving to Scottsdale or Phoenix and those that are leaving. So a lot of activity during this time of the year. So this is why we're watching these because it gives you an idea of what real estate is really actually doing. So keep that one in mind. Now, I believe we're going to have Stan Harley coming up. I don't think he's quite ready yet. We've got 52 seconds left. So let's take a look at the two most famous stocks that everybody wants to see. The first one is Tesla. It starts with a T ends in A, and there it is where? Shut the front door and raise the rent. I can't find it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Tesla starts with a T. I know that. There it is. There it is. We'll be right back. Here's Tesla, folks. You'll see it's uh, down on the day right now. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. 
visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, good to see you, my friend. I like your sweater. Well, thank you, thank you. What you got for us today, buddy? All we want is highs and lows. The rest of it you can pass on, buddy. Ah, got it, yeah. <laughs> Trying to stay warm here in the Northeast, uh, Larry. Yeah, well, uh, it's 42 here in Tucson this morning, pal. Probably warmer where you are, but it was cold. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Pretty much the same temperature here in Northern yep. Virginia. Yeah, geez. Yep. Amazing. Uh, well, let's uh, let's talk about a few things today. We got we got we got some time to delve into stuff. Um, sure. Do. My overarching theme, uh, first of all, is the stock market, and I think we're marching towards what I think is going to be an important high. Uh, let's first of all let's take a look at the yearly data. This is something I've reviewed in the past on the air with you and and our viewers, but it it <clears throat> it merits uh, examining once again. Um, I've got data all the way back to 1602, and what this is is a it's a synthesis of the Dutch, the British, and the American data combined into one index, the S&P 500. And uh, this was produced by the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. Um, and I have it. I've analyzed it. What I have done here is I have taken the yearly data, and I have put it into the analyzer program, which is a cycles analysis program produced by the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. And it goes through a very sophisticated mathematical process, but what it does is it, it extracts all of the market cycles from the data. And then over on the right side, one can see all of the cycles that the data has extracted, and then it ranks them with the AI utility, number one, two, and three, the top three. And the number one cycle, you can see where my cursor is, happens to be about 92 years. And this is the plot of that 92-year cycle. And look how well it has defined the major peaks since 1602. We had a high in Amsterdam in 1649. We had a high in London in 1720. We had a high here in the USA in 1835. Another one in 1920. And we are essentially past due. Uh, now, what this for, for the next recurrence? Now, in a simple form, this what this waveform does is it produces a sinusoidal waveform, and it calculates the lows, and then with the waveform displayed, it it shows or it depicts the high at the midpoint between the lows. Um, that does not generally happen in the financial markets. Generally, we get a phenomenon called right or left translation. Typically, in a bullish environment and an uptrend, we tend to see right translation, meaning the crest or the high point in price occurs to the right of the midpoint. And you can see uh, this happened in 1835. It happened in 1929. It's happening again in the present. So it, while it's not definitive to the exact year, it certainly says we are in the ballpark and we are exhibiting right translation. We're basically in zone. Okay. Let's drill this down to the monthly data. <clears throat> and what I've done here is I have taken the monthly data, in this case, the Dow Jones Industrials, not the S&P, but the Dow, very similar, uploaded it into the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, Cycle Scanner Program, and what it has determined through its AI algorithm is the number one cycle in that data going back many, many years is 41 months. Now, this 41-month cycle is interesting because the, the founder of the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, a man named Edward R. Dewey back in the 1940s, he was actually he was commissioned by the Hoover administration to take a look at uh, the economy and try to ascertain why the United States and Western Europe went into the Great Depression. And what he concluded was 
There was no singular event, but generally speaking, there was a cyclical phenomenon to these uh, very important uh, economic declines. And within his, his search for all the answers, uh, he found a cycle in the stock market averaging 41 months. And that was the dominant cycle back then. And guess what? To this day, it still is the number one cycle, 41 months. It has a relative strength of 12 and a Bartels reading of just over 20, which, uh, w which is a, a reading of whether or not it's random or not. Basically, the long story short is uh, this is the most dominant cycle. And as you can see, we are in zone for a top in this 41 month cycle. Okay. Uh, separately, for my own analysis, um, I, utilizing Fibonacci and, and Lucas relationships, going back to the very important low in December of 1974, where the Dow Industrials bottomed, and we've headed higher ever since, what I found is the dominant highs can be defined by a cycle spanning about 150 months, and it's Fibonacci perturbations. So. 150 months after the December 1974 low marked the August 1987 high. 150 months later marked the January 2000 high. And then while we didn't get exactly 150 months later uh, from this point marking significant highs, we did get Fibonacci perturbations of that cycle. So at the point 618 evolution, we got the high in 07 at the 1.236 or 3.236 from the beginning. We got the May 2015 high, and I'm gonna come back to that here in a minute. Uh, we got the high in February 2020, the high in 2022, and the 4.00 evolution of that cycle is due, ideally, December 2024. And here we are, November 2024. And the standard deviation on that analysis is, uh, is one month. So essentially, we're right in the heart of the envelope for a top in this cycle. Um, what also is interesting, Larry, I found, uh, what this is, this is a, a uh, price velocity assessment of the monthly data, or some people call rate of change or momentum. I've never liked that term momentum. I'm an engineer and momentum is mass times velocity. There is no mass in the stock market. But from an engineering perspective, I, I call it price velocity. Simply, it's a rate of change. And what I do is I look at the rate of change over seven months and 14 months and then calculate it on a graph and it oscillates above and below zero. And look at this. This is very, very interesting. This is as of just right before coming on the air, I inputted this data into my spreadsheet. We have a divergence developing. That is, we have the S&P 500 going to a higher high from what it did several months ago. But the seven month price velocity is marking a lower peak. That's potential divergence. Now divergences can be fixed. Ah, the music, time to take a break. We'll be right back folks with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Thank you very much, stay tuned. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back, folks. We're speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, my friend. Okay, Larry. Uh, I think uh, the momentum divergence on the monthly charts is potentially tell us, telling us something here, but divergences can resolve themselves. I would, would point that out. But right now, there seems to be a, a de developing divergence on the monthly. Uh, let's drill this down to the next lower time frame, the weekly data. Uh, here is a, uh, a cycle uh, I have not shown on the air before, but it's a uh, cycle that spans 152 weeks. This is a weekly chart of the S&P 500 going back to 2007. And some of the major pivotal points have been defined by this cycle or Fibonacci perturbations thereof. 152 comes from the Lucas number 76 multiplied by two. And you can see springing forth from the March 6, 2009 bottom, this cycle has uh, defined some very important lows and highs in the stock market. And we are essentially in zone for its next recurrence. We're right there. Um, one interesting thing that's going on right now. Um, today, for we see the New York composite making an all-time high. We do not see the Dow Industrials at an all-time high. We do not see the NASDAQ. We not, do not see the S&P 500. We do not see the Dow Transports. Um, what I have said all along is I'd like to see at the final cycle high, whenever that occurs, that we see some type of thinning in the advance. That is, we see fewer stocks, fewer indices, fewer ETFs making new highs. That's how tops are normally made. Divergences are not a prerequisite for a top. The lack of divergences certainly clouds the issue for, uh, for any type of uh, calling for a top. But uh, when they're there, it sure makes the case much more compelling. Uh, I'm reminded of the year 2015. And in that time frame, and it's hard to see here, but this date right here on the S&P 500 where my mouse cursor is, is May 20th, 2015. What happened then was the market sold off for a couple of weeks. It came back up. It sold off again, came right back up again. And as you can see, 
couple of times there, we came very, very close to taking out that high. Uh, in fact, the NASDAQ went to a higher high right here, and that was the solo index to go to a new high, unconfirmed by the Dow, the New York Comp, the S&P, or the Dow Transports. And then from that point, we stair-stepped our way lower. Uh, what I'm suggesting here is the present time frame reminds me a lot. It's not a Xerox copy, but it reminds me a lot of 2015. On November the 11th, we saw all of the indices going to new all-time highs, except for the transports. I, that, when I say all of the indices, four of the big five, the Dow Industrials, the NASDAQ, the uh, S&P 500, the um, Ah, I just drew a blank. Dow Industrials, NASDAQ, S&P, oh, and New York Composite. Those are the four. The fifth, the Dow Transports uh, did not. But today, oh, interesting. You've got the NYA at a new, new all-time high, unconfirmed by none of the indices. Also, the New York Advanced Decline Line has not gone to a high, new, a new high. I'm not saying today is it, but I'm saying the evidence <laughs> appears to be building for what could be an important top. What happened to the 100% guarantee that you promised me? Yeah, well, let me get back to you on that one, Larry. Okay, I got a man working on it. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> go ahead, my friend. Please continue. Shut the front door and pay the rent, you know? You got it, brother. A <laughs> uh, couple of weeks ago, you asked me about this important topic, uh, the precious metals. Let's take a look at gold. Um, here is a uh, weekly chart of gold going back to the year 2010. And what is interesting is our good old friend Edward Lucas and the numbers he pioneered uh, comes back into play once again. The Lucas numbers and their two times multiples have defined uh, wow. all of the important highs in the gold market. So you look at this high back in 2010, this high that occurred at the tail end of 2016 was exactly Lucas 29 times two, 58 weeks. Um, the next pair of highs came within two weeks of being exactly Lucas 47. The next pair of highs within one week of being exactly Lucas 18 and so on. Uh, long story short, we're right in zone for the next clustering from this high, from this high, from this high, and this high, all line up with the present time frame. So the inference here is that gold could be making an important uh, high. Uh, one other thing to point out, gold has a tendency to make spike tops and rounded bottoms. You'll note each of these highs uh, tend to be run-up affairs where it just goes up, 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 up like there's no tomorrow, and we're doing that once again. Look at that structure. It's nearly parabolic, and that's yeah, typical sure for is. how gold makes tops. Wow. Uh, we got a little bit of time left here, so I thought we'd take a look at Stan, one more. we got all the time you need, my friend. Just keep <laughs> bringing us good information. When that stops, we won't have any more time for you. It's that simple. <laughs> it's like the restaurant business. You get a salad and entree only if you do okay. Ah, well, I'm, I'm getting hungry just thinking about that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's look at uh, another financial uh, that's in the news quite a bit. Good old uh, Mr. Bitcoin here. Um here is a chart of Bitcoin, and what I've done here is I've converted it into a log chart. If it were an arithmetic chart, my gosh, it'd be too hard to see. Uh, but by converting it into a log chart, it's much more sensible. And uh, what you'll note, several things here, uh, is the Bitcoin market has run up. Each significant high has gone just above the base power of 10. Notice that. So at this high... We saw it get just above the base power of 10. At this high, it got just above 1,000, again, base power of 10. This high, again, just above the base power of 10. And this high did not reach it, so that told me, hey, we got some further to go. And look what's going on right now. We're just about to the next base power of 10. And typically, there's a modicum amount of overthrow. So, um, me thinks there's a possibility 100K and change, if history is any guide, could be uh, could mark an important high. Uh, now let's look at what's gone on. We talked about the y-axis. Let's take a look at the x-axis. Time. Notice these peaks have been separated by Lucas numbers, and these are monthly counts. So in this case, it was exactly Lucas 29 months. 
from this high to this high. From this high to this high was, exi well, not exactly, but it was within two months of being Lucas 47 months. These two peaks were separated by exactly 47 months. If we go 47 months beyond this high, that would take us out to later next year. Um, we're already past 29, so uh, methinks we might be chop around here for a little bit. But, uh, ah, there's the music. We'll be right back with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. Three more minutes. You don't want to miss it. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please finish up, my friend. you got a solid two minutes. Go ahead, well, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually I pretty well covered all the charts. Um, Good. Some just kind of summarize and 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 button up things here. I, it's it's my belief the stock market is in a zone for what I think could mark a major high. Uh, we of course haven't seen evidence that the high is in, but there are some divergences that are developing. On the monthly chart, my measures of price velocity that I showed just a little while ago, and I'll, I'll review that again, um, are. Very, very suggestive. 
of a, of a high in the making. Uh, divergences, of course, can resolve themselves, but for the first time in quite some time, we've got price on the monthly chart going to a new high, but we've got a lower high in uh, the seven-month price velocity. Uh, that's, that's very telling. Um, some of the other things to think about, uh, on the daily charts, we've got the New York composite today going to a new all-time high, unconfirmed by any of the other uh, major indices what I call the big five, the Dow Industrials, the Dow Transports, the New York Composite, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ Composite. And among those five, only the NYA is going to a new high. So is that going to resolve itself in the next uh, few days? It could, uh, but it's something certainly to pay attention to. Um, gold, uh, as we talked about, is in zone, I believe, for what could be an important high. Uh, the high to high counts have all in the past been a function of the Lucas numbers and their times two multiples. And we're right in zone for the next recurrence in that, uh, in that Lucas pattern. So it's suggestive that certainly from a time perspective that gold might be in zone for making a high. Moreover, the pattern, look at the structure, it's going pure vertical. How long can it do this? Well, <laughs> thank you, my friend, for being with us. Bye. We love you. Stay, say hello to your bride for me. We'll see you soon, buddy. Thank you. Stan Harley, folks. See you all on Monday. Higher opening. Norm Winsky will be our guest. May God bless. Steve 